Hi guys, it's Mrs. Murphy from the Upton Town Library, and for today's baby story time, can you guess what we're going to be learning about? Well, these are my two kittens, and guess what? They're my pets. We're talking about pets today. So these are my two cats. They are my pets at home. This is Jack, and this is Jill, and they're sitting and looking out the window like they always like to do. I think they like watching for birds. What do you think? Well, help me start with our welcome song, The More We Get Together. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Now let's do the more we sing together. The more we sing together, 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 the more we sing together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we sing together, the happier we'll be. Nice job, everybody. Thanks for helping with my welcome song. Let's look at some books together. The first one I have is called Touch and Feel Pets. And this is a, a book by DK Publishing Company. They do a lot of these great touch and feel books. And this one is all about pets. So it says, meet some friendly pets. Pat the dog, silky fur. And you can actually have your kids pat the silky fur. And then each animal is a little different. So here it says, be gentle when touching the cat's wiry whiskers. Oh, their wiry whiskers. So each page provides a different tactile experience. And at the end, the last one we have is the parakeet. Stroke the parakeet's soft feathers. So not only do you get different tactile experiences, you get new vocabulary, you can incorporate colors. And this is Touch and Feel Pets by DK Publishers. And we have a lot of these in our collection here. The other one I have for you is part of a series. This is called Pets, and this is by Jill McDonald. It's part of her Hello World series. And you can see on the back, she's got a lot of titles. And Mrs. Murphy loves to add these to our collection. So this is all about pets. Let's see if we can learn about a few pets. Scaly, fluffy, furry, or feathered, pets come in many shapes and sizes. They all need special care and love. And it gives tips for the kids. Always be gentle and calm with pets. Animals can easily get scared or hurt. You can see all the different pets in that picture. I see a frog. I see a horse. I see some cats, a bunny, and a lizard. Oh, and I wonder, I think that's the house for the frog. She brought him in a little box. And then it goes thump, thump. Rabbits have long floppy ears, whiskers, and a nose they can twitch. Can you twitch your nose like a rabbit? Can you twitch your nose like a rabbit? And then you can point to the ears. It says rabbits eat hay, fruits, and vegetables. So this book is great. It gives lots of different things for the, for the kids to do. When the cat does a stretch, they could stretch like a cat and so on. It's very colorful. And it says, would your family like a pet? Visit your local shelter or animal rescue to find the best pet for you to love. And then you can look at all the different pets in that picture. Hello World books are really great and colorful. It's a, your kid's first chance to experience some nonfiction at a baby level. So this is called Pets by Jill McDonald. And I like those stories. I hope you did too. Let's do a song called Hello Everyone. And it goes like this. First, we're going to sing to Kitty Cat. So let's sing Hello Kitty Cat. Hello Kitty Cat. Hello Kitty Cat. Hello, kitty cat. It's nice to have you here. Hello. How about we do hello, puppy? Are you ready? Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. It's nice to have you here. Hello. <laughs> Let's do one more friend. What other pet do I have? Oh, how about this one? Bunny. Hello, bunny. Hello, bunny. Hello, bunny. It's nice to have you here. Hello. <laughs> Those were some great pets to welcome. 
Let's try a little patty cake. Are you ready? Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it, pat it, and mark it with a B, and put it in the oven for baby and me. Let's try it one more time. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with an M and put it in the oven for Mrs. Murphy and me. I did my name. You can do that with your name. You could do it with animals. Make up different, different ways to say it. It makes it a lot of fun. Let's do five fat peas. So get your pea pod ready. Here we go. Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they did not stop until one day the pod went pop. Can we do it one more time? Get your pea pod ready. Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they did not stop until one day the pod went pop. I bet you did a really big pop for that one. How about we do 10 little kittens? So we can touch each finger for your kids or they, if they're old enough, they can try to raise each finger or you can clap as we sing along. I'm gonna to touch each finger. We're gonna do 10 little kittens. And then at the end, they're gonna run away. Here we go. One little, two little, three little kittens, four little, five little, six little kittens, seven little, eight little, nine little kittens, 10 little kittens run away. Let's do it again, are you ready? One little, two little, three little kittens, four little, five little, six little kittens, seven little, eight little, nine little kittens, 10 little kittens run away. You meow like a cat. How about we do a lap bounce? So families, you can get your babies or your kids to sit on your lap for a bounce. I'm gonna take my baby or kids. You can kind of just bounce up and down. It's to market, to market. Here we go. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to market, to buy a fat hog. Home again, home again, jiggity jog. Let's try that again. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to market, to buy a fat hog. Home again, home again, jiggity jog. Let's try the next verse. Here we go. To market, to market, to buy a plum cake. Home again, home again, market is late. To market, to market, to buy a plum bun. Home again, home again, market is done. Can we try it one more time? Get ready. To market, to market, to buy a plum cake. Home again, home again, market is late. To market, to market, to buy a plum bun. Home again, home again, market is done. Well done, everybody. I had a lot of verses. Let's try, I'm a little teapot. So I want everybody to stand up, get your hands on your waist like you're a teapot. One's gonna be your handle, one's gonna be your spout. And then for the second verse, we'll change our handle and our spout, okay? Here we go, let's try it. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Just tip me over and pour me out. I'm a special teapot, it is true. Here, let me show you what I can do. I can change my handle and my spout. Just tip me over and pour me out. That's a great way for kids to learn to use both sides of their body. It's really important. I have a flannel board for you today, and it's called Five Green and Speckled Frogs. So here they are. They're gonna be sitting on a speckled log. Let's count them, are you ready? 
One, two, three, four, five. I gotta squish around that log. Five frogs. And you can sing and clap for this song. You ready? Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Ribbit, ribbit. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. The end. <laughs> nice job, everybody. Did you like that one? I like doing the ribbit, ribbit part. How about you get some instruments out? I'm going to use my bells today. If you don't have bells, you could use an egg shaker. You could make your own shaker. This is one I made at home. So that works too if you have a homemade one. Just be safe with it. Let's start with if you're happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, give a shake. If you're happy and you know it, give a shake. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, give a shake. If you're happy and you know it, give a clap. If you're happy and you know it, give a clap. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, give a clap. If you're happy and you know it, tap your toes. If you're happy and you know it, tap your toes. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, tap your toes. Did you reach your toes today? I hope you did. Let's do Hickory Dickory Dock. All right. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one and down he ran. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two, down he flew. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck three, the mouse said wee. Hickory dickory dock. I like doing the wee part, that's fun. Can we do Mary Had a Little Lamb? I want you to shake your instrument as we sing Mary Had a Little Lamb. I'm going to use my little lamb for this. I have a little lamb puppet. All right, here's how it goes. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day. It followed her to school one day, which was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play, laugh and play, laugh and play. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. Well done, everybody. Good job with that rhyme. Let's use our bells and do Jack in the Box. So I want you to hold your bells or your instrument really quiet. And it goes like this. Jack in the Box sits so still. Will he come out? Yes, he will. Let's shake it. Ready? Be very, very quiet. Hold your instrument nice and quiet. Jack in the Box 
sits so still. Will he come out? Yes, he will. He'll be really loud with that part. All right, let's put our bells away. And we're going to do, instead of doing two little blackbirds sitting on a hill, we're going to do two little kittens sitting on a hill. So you can use your fingers. I have little puppets today. So it goes like this. Two little kittens sitting on a hill, one named Jack and one named Jill. Run away, Jack. Run away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Can you do two little kittens with me? Get your fingers ready. Two little kittens sitting on a hill, one named Jack and one named Jill. Run away, Jack. Run away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. You can do that with any animal like that. It's a lot of fun to change the words sometimes. All right, I think it's time to do Twinkle Twinkle. Are you ready? I'm gonna do Twinkle Twinkle with pinchy stars today. Let's try it. Ready? Twinkle Twinkle little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Well done, everybody. I hope you had fun learning about pets and looking at our stories about pets with all our songs today, too. Tune in for story time next week. Watch these videos as often as you like and look for books about pets at your own home or even call us at the library. We'd love to help you find some. Stay tuned for next week and we'll see you soon. Bye.